Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome to A Thousand Days to Escape. So, little backstory. The developers of this game actually emailed me before the game came out and asked if I would... Well, <laughs> their email was really fascinating because it was very much in character for the game, but they essentially asked me if I would be willing to make a review of it, you know, make a video out of the game. Uh, I don't know if they intended me to do it before the game came out, but I didn't really have time to get it out until today. This is an interesting looking game. There is an about section here, but I don't know if we need to go through this or if I'll just explain it and show you guys the game while, you know, while we're going through it. I'm sure it'll tell me a little bit about how to do things as I go. But essentially it's like a little arcade game about surviving the, like, end of Earth. <laughs> Welcome. Earth won't be the same. Human activities has caused irreparable damage to the environment and threaten mankind. And threatens mankind. I don't know if the developers are... English speaking or not, but there has been a few little like spelling errors in some of their stuff. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's like still, it's fine, it's understandable. Calculations have shown that oxygen remains for a thousand days, or there's a thousand days left of oxygen. The whole world is terrified. NASA isn't picking up. Seven billion lives are now on your shoulders. I might make it show hints just for now because I don't know, I've not played it before. Uh, so it could be great to see that. Look through the telescope. Oh, yeah, so the, uh, the aim is to find planets nearby that we could possibly move to. Oh my god, the days are counting down way faster than I thought. Uh, put a satellite inside. Build a rocket. Alright, oh, I think I, I think I've probably done enough. <laughs> oh wait, 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 actually, wait, 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 no, there's a, there's a little bar next to it. Is that the bar? No, that's not the fuel. Oh, actually it might be, it just filled up. Oh no, that's load capacity. My bad. Launch. <laughs> so we're just sending a- we're essentially just sending a satellite to that planet. Right? Is that how this works? And then slowly it'll- you will discover it. Uh... And there's lots and lots of planets, although I think some of them might be the same as ours. Nope, none of them are. They're all completely different planets. I was thinking maybe some of them might have, um, research. Alright, let's go drop one of these in there. Uh, fuel it. That's probably plenty. <laughs> let's launch. Okay. What have we got? It's been explored. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I launched another rocket. So. So yeah, we can we can put five mil sorry sorry five hundred million on this planet here. So uh, bring items to make the planet fit for humans. Oh, mission to Braxis out of uh, failed out of fuel. I didn't fill the fuel capacity. <laughs> Damn it! I think it said it needs to match like the distance or something. It needs to do something like match the distance to that place. Oh, a small gravity regulator. I see. I'm probably gonna fail this first time, just because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's have a look. We need temp it's temperature and liquid water is the problem. Uh, wait, if I take that out... Okay, gravity is also a problem. So gravity... We need temperature. I'm assuming this is the temperature thing. And then, uh, liquid water. Do we just need the liquid water? Yeah, because the atmosphere and everything is fine. That still has a zero next to it. Hmm. Is that enough? Put people into the rocket. <laughs> I saw this in the in the uh, trailer thing. That's funny. It's up to weight capacity, I guess. <laughs> Yikes! I don't need more liquid water. It has just a circle. I'm I'm concerned. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Just, everyone dies because I just send it up to space without checking to make sure that things are actually functional. So yeah, how, how far away is- oh, see, that's- the the fuel is equal to the number of kilometers, yep. Uh, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And I just got the achievement student. <laughs> Alright, we're learning. We've got 888 days to, to find, uh, right, so yeah, actually we can keep 
sending people there until there's... You've got 145 out of 500 people. So... Okay, that's plenty. That's already plenty. It's only 380. I only need 380. I need 385. I could take all this fuel out. Uh, put a little bit more in. There we are. That's plenty. Uh, fill it up with people. Because the planet's all good. Uh, where's the... Yeah, here it is. People. Fill the rest of the weight up with people. <laughs> I like the little shake mechanic, but I, I wish it would go faster. Need to fill this entire thing up with people. There we go. <laughs> Let's close that up. There we are. And then launch. Fingers crossed that's a success. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look. Let's watch. Good, it made it. Casualties due to overpopulation? No! <laughs> but I thought there was still plenty of space there. Oh, I must have put too many people. <laughs> I said too many people. Shit. Um, okay. I can go to this one because I can still, I can, um... I have the, enough, I can fill this thing with enough fuel to get there. 6.30. I don't know if fuel costs. I don't know if there's any point in like reducing it to to meet the um, distance requirements like that. Uh, and we need one of these. That fills up most of the capacity. Because that's that's all we need, isn't it? Because we don't know anything else about the planet, so we'll send that off. That'll fly off to that planet. This one's 568. Let's do the research. Oh, I have to buy them. I see. Uh, buy some more kerosene. I need to buy another one of these satellites. So I can research the planet. That's plenty. Okay. Uh, that's all good. Let's send that out there. And we'll go back to this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yep. We've explored that other planet now. We should know more about it. 300 million. Okay. And we're sending one out to that one. We're, let's research the next one, straight away. I should actually just buy a bunch of these. Uh, and buy one of these. I wanna put that in there. And then 6.99 fuel. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think it matters. I think if you use a thing of kerosene, um, it automatically uses one fuel. It's more about the weight capacity issue, uh, which we're going to have to try and solve at some point. Because we only have this much weight out of a possible this much weight. So, we'll mu we must be able to research that somewhere. Is there a, a thing about... Because yeah, we've got rocket level 1. I wonder if there's a... where, where the options are for upgrading the, your rockets. But yeah, we have a few planets now. This one is the shortest distance. Uh, Lostin has been explored. And it's also got 400 million. This one's 500 million and it's the closest to our planet. Oh. <laughs> Deciphered a message from an ancient civilization found on another planet. Using this information, we can create a unique energy source. Oh. We can either lose days, but get 1,500 points. Gain 500 points, no day requirement, or increase time by 25 days. I think. My biggest concern at the moment is that my time, I've already used a ton of it. But is is that time worth 500 points? Would I make 500 points within that time frame? Probably not, so I'll go for the points. Um, okay. Dyson is where I want to go. Temperature is an issue. Okay, let's buy a temperature thing. Temperature regulator. That should be fine then. There, yeah, everything's good. Uh, we need a fuel for 568 million kilometers. Okay, that's plenty of fuel. Uh, and now to fill the rest with people. Yeah. How many people is in... How many people... I can have 500. So I can have up to 500 on this. So yeah, I'm sending 300 people. Oh wait, I should remove some of the fuel. 568. 
so I can put a few more people in. <laughs> there we are. Sitting 317. Eh, launch. Okay, once that's launched, I'll send another one straight away. And put the remaining people on. Destination, Dyson. Oh my god. Okay, wait, let's go via... Oh, landed successfully. Cool. Uh, let's go... Dyson details. Okay, so I can put a bunch more people there. I can I can fill the population. I'll fill the um base there. I can have up to 183 people. Okay, there we go. That's all it needs. Let's launch. Okay, let's also check the satellite. They'll be going over there. 630, 699. This one has 400 million, so let's um, immediately start sending people there. Oh, Dyson has been colonized. Yay, achievement, Dyson. <laughs> one billion relocated. Yay, <laughs> the first billion of seven. <gasps> okay, uh, let's buy a temperature regulator. Temperature regulator, there we go. And then flora and fauna. We need that, we already had that. Cool. I don't know, once again, I don't know why it's a circle there. <laughs> Let's fill this up with fuel, 699. Now I can fill the rest with people. <laughs> okay, we're sending 200. That's about half of the possible maximum population. Cool. Yeah, I find it a little bit annoying that the destination doesn't stay the same. Um, I think maybe it's because you can't have two rockets going to the same place. Yeah, it is. I believe that's what this is. Uh, okay, we need another temperature regulator. Um, drop that in there. Buy more fuel. Needs 630. And then uh, that's all it needs. It needs just people with the rest of it. Oopsies. Let's just keep piling them in there. <laughs> Gonna save all the people. I've already had casualties. Because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I can have up to 300 people there, so I might- Oh! Yeah, I've actually- There we go. <laughs> That's actually the full planet build now. Okay, let's go check how that went. Rocket 60 landed on Poison, 1 billion relocated, Dyson been colonized. I'm gaining a lot of points. Um, let's just check. That's going over there, perfectly fine. We can, we can get- send another 100 and- Oh, yay! <laughs> Exploration of new planets gives us resources that we can use for technological development. Um, upgrade gravity regulator to level 2. Upgrade temperature regulator to level 2. I'll go temperature regulator. Uh, oh! Upgrade rocket to level 2, yay! <laughs> oh, does it, it doesn't have more fuel? More, um, sorry, more... Capacity? Damn, it doesn't have any more capacity. Oh, this is a rocket level one. It still says level one here. Um. Oh, there we go, I see. So yeah, rocket level two, there we go. That'll make things much more efficient. Let's just do one more of this one. Yeah, so that's that's better, I have more, more capacity now. Um, okay, I can send another 188 people over here. I don't need to I don't need to worry too much about anything else just okay there we go perfect launch okay and then uh, that's that planet filled that planet uh, to maximum capacity let's research this planet so fuel 853 oh that's plenty I only need to put in a satellite so yeah let's just launch it I should do a bunch of that, actually. Yeah, fully colonized. Uh, let's check this one. Actually, no, we should do this one that's closer. Uh, I, it failed last time because I didn't realize I needed it to be at least 1173. Okay, there we are. Buy another satellite. A Sputnik. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, and then launch it. Check how that other one went. Oh, it's not finished yet. Still being searched. 
we've got one four, one another one one. Let's do another research of that. This is one one seven four. Uh, I just got bachelor for getting I guess five thousand points. because uh, the picture says five thousand. Launch. Okay. Let's check these planets. Quick. Alright, so this one's been explored, it has 400 million, this one has 500 million, and it's closer, so let's do this one first. Uh, there we are, okay, we need gravity regulated. Uh, let's buy a little gravity regulator. Drop that in there, is that enough? It is. Temperature regulator, only should need a small one, probably. There we go. And flora and fauna, I need to buy some flora and fauna. Oh, that's more expensive, I see that now. Boop. Oh wait, no, don't, don't boop that. <laughs> uh, 853, fuel. Ooh. Uh, we just have a message from an ancient civilization. Cool. Uh, once again, I have a, I actually have quite a few points already. I'm probably going to regret not getting points later, but I'm going to get days. Um, okay, uh, let's keep doing this. It's 853. Okay, cool. Fill the rest of the, fill the whole rest of the rocket up to 500. Okay, that's the maximum I can put on there. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> it's, it's so close. I'm gonna have to fire a whole extra rocket just to get that extra population. Um, unless, of course, I do something, send them elsewhere. I'm gonna send them elsewhere to, for now. Um, only if I need to send them, send more, I'll send them. Um, Okay, 1173, 2 billion relocated, yay! <laughs> so this one's Braxis, this is the next closest. Uh, needs temperature regulated. And it needs liquid water. Yeah, the ones down here, the others, are more expensive. Um, cool. Then fuel for 1173, okay. uh, and then people, up to 400 people. This one, actually, probably I should be able to put all of the people. I should be able to get the whole planet colonized fully. Uh, without any issue. I'm assuming that's 400 million, not just 400. Okay. Uh, close it up. Launch! Okay, let's check how the other ones are doing. Yeah, it's so annoying that I can't put the whole lot on Stableton. Stableton. I want to get the achievement, because <laughs> it's not officially colonized until you get all of the people on it. Damn it. Watch that. That was a bit of a waste of money, but that's alright. I just wanted to get the full colonized, because I believe you get rewards for doing that as well. Um, I should research this one while I'm at it. Oh! Uh, new planets. <laughs> yeah, and also I think when you fill up a planet, you're, you're more likely to get these as well. Let's get the gravity regulator level 2. So let's dump that in there. One, three, ten. Okay, launch. So that'll uh, explore Wallonia. This is this is amazing. This like the time pressure and everything. This is really cool. This is a really cool game. Uh, let's go here. Okay, let's Quintessa. Quintessa, sorry, Quintessa. Uh, has no people on it, but it, it's already all good for human colonization. So one, one, seven, four of this. Now fill the rest up with people. Uh, up to 500. I wonder if I can get all 500 on this one ship. If I can, that'd be freaking awesome. Looks like it. It looks like I can. Nice! I can get the whole planet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> cool, that's everything. Launch. Oh, no. Nope. Close it up. <laughs> then launch. Yikes. Uh, imagine if they just all died because I forgot to close it. Successful launches, 18 out of 20. Failed launches, 1. So there's one that's like midway through. Cool. That planet has been fully colonized. I have located, th relocated 3 billion people. Okay. Um, so yeah, that, that's been fully populated. Uh, now we've got wall and air. 1, 3, 10. Oh my god. Everything is wrong with it. Needs gravity. Needs temperature. Uh, it needs flora and fauna. Okay. So, gravity. 
That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough for temperature either. Yikes. Uh, so what is that? That temperature one does up to... I have to buy this though. I'll put that in for the temperature. I have to buy the upgraded gravity one as well. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. I had to do two gravity ones. Uh, solid surface. Oh, do I, does that mean I have to... Do, do I even have that? Do I, what even is that? The solid surface one? I don't understand what the solid surface one is. I don't see anything that does so, things with solid surfaces. Uh, flora and fauna. And atmosphere. Does this mean I can't send people there yet? If that's the case. Uh... Because I don't see any other things about... Hmm... I don't know. Alright, well let's just fill... let's just send this over. 1310. I think I'm just gonna have to send that like that. I don't know how to handle the salt surface part of that. Um, let's just send more uh, probes around. Let's just launch. Um, okay. Warner landed successfully. Let's just check. The solid surface surface still says zero. Yeah, I'm searching. I'm gonna search other planets instead. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, I'm desperate to keep the time going. There we go. Okay, search that planet, please. And I'm gonna check this planet as well to see what it's like. It's just temperature. Okay, cool. Will this fix it? No, it won't. Uh, let's buy the upgraded one. And yeah, this should fix it. Oh, okay, Telstar has has people on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we'll send people there then? Fall 14. Okay, I can put up to 300 people on this planet, on uh, Yumiko. So let's just get all 300 going all at once. Launch. Let's just check to see... Yeah, I'm assuming it's... Yeah, it's got a it's got a uh, little red flag on it. Um, well, let's still try and search Viseron or Viseron. Um, Viserion. <laughs> search it. One six four nine. Yumiko's been colonized. Uh, there's Jericho, Nostromo. <laughs> um, which one's closer? One nine. I think this is, Jericho is the closest one. Let's send a uh, satellite there. Go. <laughs> Alright, which plants? Viceron's fine. Okay, 300 million. Uh, okay, let's send those people there. Oh, I see. At least it's got a solid surface. Gravity. I might need to get the upgraded gravity. I might need to get one of these for gravity. Um... That should hopefully be enough. It's not. Right, I guess you need it to be one, like, one G is normal gravity, so I'm assuming that's what they're going with. Temperature, 131. This is plenty. This one here is plenty. Um, atmosphere and liquid water. At least with those ones, you don't have to, need to worry about the numbers, because they're just one-offs. Uh, and then I can just fill the rest up, or I fill the rest up with fuel. 1649. Cool. And then the rest up with people. And I can get up to three, 3 million. 300 million. Okay. I can only send that many. <laughs> Launch. Jericho's been explored. Let's just check what... Master. 10,000 points maybe. Oh, and that's another gas giant. Damn it. Let's research this one. Send a probe there. 2,000. And 8. Halfway. I'm ha I've got half the population safe. There's only 170 days left to shit. Let's just fucking launch that. Okay. Let's go back to Viceron. I can send another lot of people there. I just need the fuel. Perfect. 
Okay, I can send up to... I can't send that many, actually. Okay, I think that's all I can fit on that one for Vice Run. Uh, Jericho is not able to be done. Let's wait for the... Oh, let's send a thing to Nostromo. Let's send a satellite to Nostromo. Oh, we've got another thing here. Uh, for getting the Vice Run, I think, fully leveled up. Uh, I can get a level 3 for one of these, or 500 science points. I don't get gravity level 3. I've already had gravity issues uh, before. 860. That should be plenty. Yep, perfect. Launch. And then we got the other planet that's... Uh, Inuos. Inos. Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Okay, I've got all the local planets explored. This looks like another gas giant. But let's send a probe there anyway. Uh, 1977. Launch. Okay, yeah, all the planets that I can send people to at the moment. Uh, the problem is I don't know how to deal with salt, the whole salt surface thing. Um, I don't know if I can just send people there anyway, or not. But I'm afraid if I send people, I'll just get, they'll just all die. Oh my god, that's also another gas planet. Is there something I can research that, de that deals with that? I don't know. Okay, Nostromo has been explored. Oh yeah, I got that one. Oh, new knowledge and experience has helped us to create uh, upgrade rocket to level three. Freaking perfect. And uh, we've just explored this planet. Uh, has a solid surface. Wonderful. So we can get the. Oh, gravity is. I'm gonna get the large gravity one. Uh, oopsies. There we go. <laughs> that sorts that out. Temperature is is very. I can just do it with the one, with the middle one. Uh, atmosphere, liquid water, and flora, so all three of these. In there, in there, and, oops, in there. And then I can just fill the rest up with fuel and people. 1977, and then the rest with people. I can put up to 200 people on this planet. Oh. I probably can only fit 80 people on there. Okay, that's fine, let's launch. So I can put another 120 in the next launch. Searching the next planet. I don't even know if I have time to do it though. 2500. Launch that. Let's send more people to Polyphemus. 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 Okay, <laughs> something like that. Okay, launch it. Let's get them out of here. <laughs> uh, and that'll be that whole planet fully explored, fully done. Two six, two seven. Launch it. Okay, fully colonized. Yes. <laughs> and this other planet has been explored. Uh, cool. I can put four, four million, four hundred million. That is. Oh God. Uh, okay. Gravity. Need to get the this. No, I need to get. No, no. Oh, I bought it already. Let's just get to it like that. <laughs> I spent more than I needed to, but it's alright. Uh, temperature. Get one of these. And then liquid water. One of these. I have 15 days. No! Oh wait, no, I need to put fuel in first. <laughs> 2 5. 2 5 oh, 9. I think this is going to be the last one I'm going to be able to do. Uh, fill the rest with people. Many as can fit. No! <laughs> Four days. Three days. Two days. Okay, let's just uh, launch it. Get it out of here. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't even launch it before I time up. Time is up. Shit. <laughs> well, I explored 17 of the possible 25 planets. <laughs> I saved a little over 55% of the planet. Oh, there's noises still happening in the background. <laughs> As though I'm still saving people. Um, only one failed launch. But then it says less than... It says that there's two non-successful launches according to this. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if I trust these numbers. Oh, it went up. 59. <laughs> it went up to 59% while we were sitting here. That's funny. <laughs> and I found, of course, Telstar, the hostile planet. Um, one of six hostile planets.
Did I, I found eight artifacts? Oh, right, because, yeah, while I was exploring, yeah, I kept getting those artifacts and stuff like that. Damn. Let's see the leaderboards. <laughs> oh, man. Some people managed to get all seven million... Seven... Sorry, seven billion. Managed to get all seven billion in 675 days. It's amazing. It only counted the original number I had before it updated. Uh... So yeah, my, my, my actual number here, 4159, was from that last rocket I fired off right before I <laughs> ran out of time. Uh, yeah, so the, the 39 was what it was before that. Most of the people here are just like, they've got all the people within so many days. And then, and then it switches from 999 days getting 7 million, sorry, 7 billion, to being like a thousand days but not quite so close. <laughs> well, for a first try, I think that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm curious if you, if there are like, if there's like a better order to do stuff in, if you can find specific things. Like, firstly, I didn't know what to do with the gas giants, whether I could just send people there or not. Uh, the second, second thing was, I didn't seem to find a way to upgrade my fuel while I was playing. I don't know if that's something that I just missed. Oh, also it says here you can, the alien civilizations, you can wage war, the way to wage war or cooperate, it's up to you. I didn't even, once I found the aliens there, I was like, okay, just let's move on to the next planet. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, maybe there's some things I didn't realize I could do that could have been, that could have helped me survive longer. Uh, or, you know, help me get to plans faster. One of the things I'll mention is that, like, I think it's really funny having the, like, house that you shake and people come out of it and stuff like that, and, and then literally pouring the fuel in. But, uh, frequently, I mean, it adds to the, like, chaos of it, I guess. There's frequently where I, moments where I wanted to be like, just type in the number. I just want exactly that much fuel and I want exactly that many people on my ship. Having to like, shake and shake and shake while days are disappearing and I'm like, ah, it was really, <laughs> it got difficult. <laughs> uh, but I understand if that's, that, that was the intentional design choice, you know, like, make you panic a little bit. Uh, cause that was, that was very effective. I did, I frequently was panicking, thinking like, oh god, I gotta get this done quickly. I was constantly, I didn't have time to say anything funny or do anything silly, because I was like so focused on all the bits and pieces. It was a really interesting game, like I might even return to this <laughs> for another go, just to see if I can do better. But whatever the case, uh, that'll do it for today. If you like what you saw, if you like the, like the look of this game, go support the developers on Steam, there'll be a link in the description below for the, uh, you know, to buy the game if you wish. I did get given this game by the developers. Uh, I, I want to make that clear as well. I'm glad I played this. Like, I don't know if I would have normally chosen a kind of game like this, but this is actually really super fun. So uh, if you're interested in giving it a try, definitely go and check out the link, uh, at least. Also, if you like what you saw, hit like. <laughs> if you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.